Okay, what's up YouTube? I'm back to show you guys how to unroot a Samsung Galaxy Mega 6.3 i527 for AT&T or this could apply for any other Mega as well. So first thing you want to do is you want to go to kingoapp.com. As you can see, I have it on my screen so you can see what it looks like. You need to download it. Once you download it, you need to run it and go through the whole setup process. So I'm going to show you guys that I am actually rooted already. You want to go to settings, about device, status. I'm just showing you guys how to get to it in case you get a phone and you don't know if it's rooted. So if it says custom, 9 times out of 10 it's rooted. Also another indication that your phone is rooted is you have this super SU or super user app. So also let me show you one more thing. So now you guys know for a fact that it's rooted. So I'm going to show you the easy way how to unroot it. After you've installed Kingo app, your USB debugging should be on here. You want to go back into settings, go to about device, and if it's not on and you don't have developer options, you want to click on build number seven times. After you've done that, I won't do it because I've already had it. After you do that, you want to hit back once and you should have this option right here, developer options. Go here, make sure USB debugging is on. You want to plug up your device. And then you want to actually open the app Kingo Root. And you want to wait for it. You may or may not get a notification on your um on your phone device, on your phone screen. If you get a notification, you want to click OK. And that'll just enable the USB debugging. And you want to simply wait for it. Okay, so now you can see it's connected. You want to check out your phone screen. You want to make sure you grant super user permissions. It should continue connecting. Okay, now here you can either root again or remove root. In this case, we want to remove root. Again, before I click remove root, I want to show you here. It says root status, yes. So if yours says yes, you know for a fact it's rooted. So we're going to start the removing root process. Okay, guys, it's almost finished. Okay, as you can see, it says remove root succeeded. Simply click finish. You can unplug your device now. And then we can go check it out and make sure that the root was actually removed. Let's look here. We don't see super user anywhere, super SU anywhere. Let's try root checker. Okay, this device does not have proper root access. Last but not least, let's go into our settings. About device. Device status. Sorry guys, took the wrong thing. Okay, okay, it says custom, but if it says custom, then you simply restart your device. After it reboots, we'll go back into it and see what it says. Okay, let's go back in and see what it says now. Back through settings. More about device. Oops. Status. Let it search for the device status. Okay, it says official. So now you guys know the root is removed. And if you didn't know how to root it through Kingo, you can go check out my other video and see how I rooted it through Kingo. So don't forget to like and subscribe and come back for more great videos. Thanks. See you later.